Hello there, Gemini. Welcome. This is going to be a reading for mid-April, and this is going to be for what's going on between you and the person that you're interested in. This is your side, this is the person that you're interested in. First, let's start with what's currently happening in your life. What's going on with you? Queen of Swords. Page of Swords. Ooh, look at all these swords. Well... You're in your head about something. And we have the Four of Pentacles. So with the Queen of Swords, that definitely could be your energy. It could be a no Gemini. It could be Aquarius. Or it could be a Libra. It could be any sign. But someone is standing their ground. Someone's looking for the truth. And then we have the Page of Swords. Again, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone might be investigating or looking into something. Or, I mean, this is even the spy guy. This could be someone watching you. But there's someone that walked away from a situation. They didn't like it and they walked away from it. So that might have just recently happened or it happened in the past. But this is something that you're focusing on. Because someone's holding on to something here. Let's see if we can clarify here. Why is a Queen of Swords here for Gemini? Why is a Queen of Swords here? We have the Five of Swords again. Wow. Okay, there might be some people around you that are not behaving correctly. Starting trouble. Hmm. You might be putting your, your foot down on things. Let's see. Why is the Page of Swords here? We have the Magician. Someone might be trying to manifest something here. This is Aries Aquarius energy. But someone is watching or someone is trying to figure something out. Someone might be trying to... Someone could be trying to learn how to be a Magician. Now that could be your energy. It could be someone else. Let's see. Why do we have the Five of Swords here? Let's clarify that one. And we have the lovers. Gemini, that's your energy. Okay. Okay, this feels like someone is trying to make a connection with you, but someone might, might have walked away from this connection or um, something happened here that there is a lot of... Something, you couldn't trust someone or you, and so you walked away from it. Okay, the lovers is choice. Love could be a soulmate connection. Love could be a partnership. So this could be either in business or in love. But there's um, a lot of stuff going on. And we have the King of Cups. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. So one has a lot of emotions. And something happened here. So this might, you're dealing with this right now. So. Hmm. Just your current energy. Trying to. I, I think someone really is trying to like maybe develop uh, like their ability to manifest or ability to create things. Okay, let's go into your person's side. What is currently happening with them? Okay, I think this person is um, looking to maybe make an offer toward you here. And they want to come in quickly, the chariot. But they're looking out, wondering whether or not you'll take it. So they're they're really stuck in their head about this. Here they are, the, um, the three of wands saying, will, will Gemini take this offer if I go to them with this offer? But they do have a lot of love for you. And they want to come in quickly. Let's try to clarify this a little bit. Okay, they're thinking of rushing in, definitely. Um, coming in quick with the truth. You have the, a card that's really fast here with the chariot. And you also have the knight of swords who moves real fast. Again, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. A lot, I think you're both in your head here. Why about this four of cups? Why is that here? And we have the page of swords. I think you guys are watching each other. Trying to figure out what's going on. You're probably both interested. I don't think you really trust this person. Or there's some kind of energy around you that's not... It's not too good here with all these swords. I mean, I think you are the queen of swords here. And there might be people around you you can't trust. And you're watching. I think you're watching them. They're watching you. You're both trying to learn about each other. You're in the magician mode, though. They're in, like, I don't know if Gemini would take this off. What about the Ace of Cups? Why is that here? Ooh. 
Yeah, so there was a breakup. Thir no, see, that's what it feels like. You might be see if there's around you. This is your energy. You might have people around you that are trying to keep you guys apart. And it causes third party influence that broke you guys up. Yeah, see, there's a painful ending. This person feels really bad about this ending. <coughs> I think it's the people around you that were trying to prevent you guys from keeping together here. <coughs> okay, let's see. <coughs> Boy, I got such a tickle. Okay, let's see. What are um, your thoughts about your person? <coughs> I'm so sorry. The mean tickle. Okay. All right. This was, there's an ending here. And you're thinking about whether or not to bring this back together. Transform something. I don't know. You probably want the strength to probably talk to them about this. Leo energy. <coughs> Scorpio energy. <coughs> Jeez. Long-term commitment. Someone is really, I don't know if they can't talk or why am I getting so um, choked up? Someone is really choked up about what happened here. Someone is really upset and... <sighs> That tickle is really tough. And then we have here, walking away. Someone is, your thoughts are maybe to just walk away from the situation that maybe will never work because you just can't seem to have this, you want this commitment. You, you, you're thinking about, um, your thoughts about them is that there could be a, a commitment here. There could be something stable. And you probably see them as strong. Or maybe you see that they transformed somehow. Unless you want them to walk away here. Let's see. Why do we have the death card here? Why is the death card here? Okay. You're up at night. You can't sleep. Think about this person. And about this ending. And whether or not this should be a new beginning. And if they, if this can... Um, if this can change from the way it was before. What about this trend card? Four of Wands. Long-term commitment. You'd like to have a strong, secure connection with this person. You would like a strong marriage. And if this was a marriage and you guys broke up, you would like to bring that back around again. But there's people in your, on your side, I think, interference, starting trouble. It might be someone trying to do some kind of magic or something. Now, um, why do we have the Ten of Pentacles here? Two of Cups. Yeah, you see this as your soulmate here. Long-term commitments. I think there's other people that really are interfering. And now we have the Knight of Swords here. Wanting to go to them quickly. They have the Knight of Swords here. You have the Knight of Swords here. You both want to um, try to talk about this. But I guess there's other people trying to prevent this. Okay. Let's see. What are their thoughts about you? Let's see. What are their thoughts about you? They want to bring justice. Or they see you as being fair. Libra energy. Queen of Wands. They, they're very attracted to you. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. And they want to come in quickly here. They're very passionate about you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And on the bottom deck, we have a page of pentacles. So they want to make some sort of offer here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They might be younger than you. Okay, let's see. Why is it just this card here? The moon. Pisces energy. There's something hidden here. This person might hold back their emotions. Or may they think you do? Because this is their thoughts about you. But the, this justice card is like... I think you both want the justice. Why is the Queen of Wands here? We have the Knight of Pentacles. So they don't know whether to come in slow or come in fast. They have a lot of fast cards. So you have the Knight of Swords... The 
Knight of Wands, then they have the Knight of Pentacles, and also they have the Page of Pentacles making an offer here. And the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck. What about this Knight of Wands? Why is that here? Ooh, yeah. They know that you're going to be holding up your sword there, you, that you started with the Queen of Swords. So their thoughts are, no matter how they come in, they have to face the sword. Whether they come in quick or slow, they still don't know what to do. Over here we have, okay, they're working on something here. They want to work on this connection too. Their thoughts are, okay, maybe they see you working all the time too. And they don't know how to connect with you if you're always working. But there's something to do at work. Either you work together or they see you working all the time. Or I do feel like they do want to work on this. They want to make some kind of offer. Okay, let's see. What about your feelings for them? What are your feelings for them? Tell you the, the readings from today, the, the, you know, it is a full moon. It's been a tough trying to read these readings today for me. <laughs> okay. So we have the Knight of Wands. I think you see them as the Knight of Wands. They see you as the Queen of Wands. You're very attracted to each other. And your feelings are that this is a burden and you keep on going back to the past and you don't know what to walk away. If you want to walk away from something here, go towards them. You might have to leave a situation, but this has been a heavy burden on you. And you keep on focusing back on the past, on your connection, how you feel about them. And you're thinking of just leaving everything and going towards them. Okay, what about this Ten of Wands? Why is that here? Okay. You probably see them as very independent. Maybe you don't think that they want to be bothered with you at this time. Make all this trouble that was caused. Let's see, why do we have the two of wands? We have the eight of swords. So your feelings are... I think you're stuck in your head on this. It's like you don't know what to do. You think one thing about the past. You feel stuck. You don't know how to move. Let's see, why do we have the Eight of Cups here? We have the Five of Coins. If you walk away from something, will this person not be there for you? Will this person leave you out in the cold? Oh, wow. Get the Ten of Swords. You guys are both fixating on how this ended. This was a horrible ending. Whatever happened between you guys, if it feels like it was very painful for both of you. So, and but I think you both have feelings for each other. Let's see. Let's see what their feelings are for you. Here we come the work card. They want to work on this situation. So that came up again. So we have the Eight of Pentacles here and the Eight of Pentacles here. They want to work on it. Their feelings are can we work on that? But I also feel like for some of you, they see that you're always working. Let's see. Hierophant. Commitment. Structure. Taurus energy. Let's see here. They want to work on a commitment. And, they, and here they are. They have the nine. I think you both see each other as independent or wanting to be by yourselves. But I don't think either one does. Yeah, this again, work on something. Working as a team. Okay, why do we have the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Moving away from something here. This person uh, might see you wants to work on something. I think they're willing to relocate for you. Or move on from something. Leaving something behind. And for somebody, I feel like someone is actually, this person knows that someone is actually leaving for a work uh, situation. They might re be re relocating, then they're not going to have any chance here. Uh, why is the fire pit here? Holding on. This person wants to hold on to you. They want to hold on for this chance to have a marriage. A long-term commitment. What about this Nine of Pentacles? King of Wands. 
and we have the page of pentacles this person wants to make an offer here and the king of wands aries leo sagittarius i think they see you as being single and in charge and taking care of your business and and not really needing anyone and you might be seeing them the same way it almost feels like you're mirroring each other okay let's see what action might you take towards this person what action might you take Okay, you might go towards this person. You have the Knight of Wands. Come in quickly. Aries Leo Sagittarius could have a lot of passion for him. You might you're trying to figure out whether you want to put the work in. And here it is the Empress energy. This is to create something and, and to manifest. Could you have the magi magician again in, in your spread? So the Empress is Libra Taurus energy. The magician is Aries and Aquarius energy. And it feels like you're trying to create something or you want to create something and manifest something. Put the work in. And you want to do this quickly to go towards them. And why do we have the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah, this is someone that you have a lot of fond memories of. And you keep on thinking about those memories. And the Empress. And the Star. Wow. Your wishes, your hopes, and dreams come true. Aquarius energy. What about this Magician? And the Ace of Swords. And we have the Nine of Wands here. I think you want to protect this connection here. You want to start something new. You want to cut out whatever does not serve you. Start something new. Start from scratch, I think. Just start over and become in quickly. You know, who's showing up over here? Who is this? The Devil is hiding underneath this Knight of Wands here. So it might be an obsession or something with someone feeling that, you know, they really want to go in quick and they, and they, they can't stop thinking about this. Okay, let's go to their side. Okay. What action might they take towards you? They want to come in and offer. You got the uh, Page of Cups. It might be a kind of a surprise in this offer. What they say or what they do with that fish poking out. It might be apology. They're not sure what to do. They're, they're at a crossroad. They're afraid they'll make the wrong decision here. And then we have, yes, move away from something that does not serve them. They keep on wanting to move away from whatever's rough. It might be a situation in their life they're trying to move away from. And they want to have an even give and take with you in this. So if something was not actually equal. So let's see. Page of Cups. Why is that here? And we have the Three of Pentacles working together as a team. What about the Two of Swords? See, not trusting. Wants to take action, but not trusting. Should they hold back? Should they do it? Shouldn't they do it? That's weird. Could you get so far in this spread? This five of swords came up three times. And then we have the three of wands. Looking at the past. Want also want this long-term commitment. Ten of Pentacles. And both I think feel the same way, but I I think that on your side there are some people that stopped this connection or broke you guys up started trouble and neither one of you want to go through it again but i don't know if you know how to prevent it and especially if someone is doing some kind of magic or doing something over here i don't know what that is that's not going to be for everyone but it seems like you want to manifest something but if it's you know the only good card next to it is the lovers and the other cards are like you know, you got the Page of Swords the, above it. You have the Five of Swords on the side of it. Of course, the Ace of Swords is okay. It's just saying that you want the truth. I don't know. I hope this resonates with someone. It, it was a very hard energy. It feels like I was getting blocked the whole time I was trying to read it. Like, if someone does have this energy or able to do something here with the Magician, you do have the Magician twice. So, this felt more like your energy. I'm not sure if this is your energy here. But it felt like someone was trying to block me from seeing in. I, I was very tough to get through this energy. Okay, let's let's see what signs you could be dealing with. I hope this makes sense for someone. <laughs> But I do, do feel like you both really care about each other. And um, it's just there's somebody that starts trouble or a group of people. Plus, if we have Virgo, Leo, Scorpio, 
Sagittarius, Sagittarius, and Gemini. There you are. Okay, so this could be placements in your chart, placements in your person chart. This could be past people, present people, or future people. Okay, now let's do the letters. This could be for initials. This could be first names, middle names, last names. See what happens here. W, L, T, H, J, T, G, I, U, K, and O. Okay, so letters we have are W L T H J T G I U K O, and now the names. Let's see what names we have. What are the names? What are the names, please? Let's see if I have eleven. We have Jeanette G J E A N E T T E. We have Lehman. Lyman, Lyman. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how to say that. L I A M. And then we have Jamar, J A M A A R, Elizabeth, Jesse, with I E. We have Asma, A S M A H. We have Victoria. We have Paisley, P A S I L E Y. We have them. Femby, T-H-E-M-B-I. We have France, Francesina, F-R-A-N-C-E-S-S-I-N-A. -S -S Look at that. We have 11. Love it. And we have City, S-I-T-I. -I. Those are the names for today. Okay, so remember, please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It's not going to resonate for everyone. And um, even with the letters... Like, you know, this is just a little extra bonus to see if your the letters come out. And it could be, um, I normally s think of the middle letter coming, initial coming out, usually when you already have the first and the last. And that's an extra bonus you got the middle too. Um, but I wouldn't really get that excited about just the middle coming out. But anyway, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And um, please let me know if anything resonates. Please leave comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.